creator of the Enrich Engagement Technology and the Hot Prospect Formula, recipient of the Entrepreneurial Innovator Award at Harvard, and number one international best-selling author of How to Convert Trade Show Leads into Cash and Customers, please welcome the CEO of Enrich Automation, Mr. Tom Mack. I would like to thank Bill Gates and the wonderful people at Microsoft for having me here today. Manufacturing clothing and other fashion items was making me a lot of money. I had a big factory with sewing machines whirring, cranking out product, keeping the warehouse full. And one day, I had a crazy idea. Instead of storing all my merchandise in the warehouse, why not get a retail store and keep the finished goods there? That way, I could sell my clothing line at retail and make extra money from a store. So I opened a new store in a busy tourist area of Orlando. Immediately, it started making lots of money. And before you knew it, I had five stores. One day, I get a call from a store employee. Something weird had happened. The manager was off duty that day. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, her husband is knocking on the back door of the store, wants to use the restroom. They let him in. Then he left. But then they noticed it. The door to the safe was wide open, and all the money inside was gone. This guy had just absconded with over $20,000. What happened was he found the combination to the safe in his wife's purse came in all drunk and high and cleaned out my safe. Then the next thing you know, he's got a stretch limousine and a hooker named Bambi, and they're riding all over town, buying everybody drinks, acting like a big shot with my money. I drive 40 minutes to the store, call the cops, and now we're out looking for him. We get a tip that he's at this bar, so we go rushing over to that bar with the cops, but by the time we get there, he was gone. Then we get another tip. He's at this bar. And it's kind of easy to spot in a stretch limo in Orlando. So we go rushing over to that bar with the cops. But by the time we get there, he had moved on to another bar. But this time, he's in a different county. So we have to get different cops. It was unbelievable. I spent all night chasing after this guy. And everywhere I went, he was one step ahead of me. Little did I know that his wife had been tipping him off the whole time that we were coming. Two days later, the wife calls me. She wants to know that if her family repays all the money that her husband stole, would I drop the charges? Well, being a practical man, I said, yeah. If you bring me 20 grand in cash, I'll let it go this time. And as soon as she brought me the money, I fired her. Now, my kids, they know this story intimately because I've been telling it to them for years as an example of what happens when you get bailed out over and over again and turn out to be a screw-up for your whole life. And they know for sure that if they ever got in trouble like that, that I would never bail them out. Never, ever, ever. And some people say, oh, Tom, you're so mean. You're a father. They're your children. You should be taking care of them. And I say, no. It's more important to face your own problems than to avoid them. Because facing your problems, that's what equips you to win in life. My most important mentor, Bob Snow, the guy that rented me my first retail location, said, your problems are the pathways to gold. And I really believe that. And today, my entire business is built on a foundation of problems. You see, everybody's biggest problem is getting leads and converting them into sales. That's every business's biggest problem. And today, my entire company is focused on solving that problem of converting leads into sales. Now, I tell you all of this to say, if you're thinking about stealing a lot of money and you need to get bailed out, call somebody else. Because I believe that you need to face your own problems, because your problems are the pathways 
to gold. 